Venus Fridays, what is going on with our divine feminine planet this week? So um, this morning, the crescent moon met with Venus in the morning sky, the early dawn sky, and that signals are moving into the root chakra for the month. So if you're not familiar with how uh, we at Venus Alchemy practice with the Venus cycle, we follow the oldest story written in clay on those cuneiform tablets from ancient Sumer. The oldest story we have written down is actually about Venus and the Venus cycle. So in Nana's descent is a story about the Venus cycle. And so in Nana, the queen of heaven and earth, AKA Venus goes through these seven gates on her journey to the underworld, which is when Venus moves on the other side of the sun from us and we can't see her in the morning or the evening sky. And so we have arrived at that seventh gate today, this morning, now, and we move through the root chakra. So while Venus is in the morning sky, these gates symbolize a time when we can let go of and release energy that's blocking those chakras. So right now we're gonna focus on the root for the month. So it's a time to tune into and notice um, and work on letting go of anything that blocks your being able to ground into the earth, your feeling safe and secure in your physical body on the earth, that kind of a thing. So you can set an intention around this root chakra as we move into this new moon when we set intentions for the moon cycle as well. So I'm going to share my screen and let's just look at where that happened this morning in the sky. Right. So here we are looking at stellarium.org, their free astronomy software. We can see Venus and the moon together. I'll zoom in a little bit in case you're looking at this on your phone instead of a computer. And we can see there's the little teeny crescent of the moon meeting with Venus in the morning sky. Mars, Venus is moving away from Mars. Here's Saturn, the sun. Mercury. So we can see this is the lineup in the morning sky right now. And soon Venus is going to get so close to the sun, she'll disappear because she's starting to move on the other side of the sun from us, from our view when Venus enters the underworld, right? So for ancient people, when a planet was no longer visible because it would look like it gets swallowed up by the horizon, it's um, blocked out by being so close to the sun. So it's hidden in the light of the sun and then actually moves on the other side of the sun from us and we can't see Venus anymore. So this is happening soon. It'll be at different times for all of us, depending upon our location, our horizon line. There's a few different factors, but it's coming quick. So uh, get out and see Venus in the morning sky while you still can because She's going to disappear for a while and then reappear in the evening sky in July sometime. So root chakra, that's the biggest thing that's happening right now with the divine feminine. And that is today. So that's exciting. Um, tomorrow, Saturday, Mar uh, Mercury moves into Aries. So kind of starting to lead the charge as we're moving towards that uh, March equinox time when the sun will enter Aries. So things are, can kind of start to move more quickly. We move from Pisces season to uh, Aries season, but that's coming on the 19th. On Sunday, we have the Pisces new moon and there's so much Pisces energy going on right now. So the Pisces new moon is a time of one setting our intention for the month, but also a time when we want to, um, you know, tune into that Pisces empathic feeler aspect of things. So while we have the software up, why don't I just bring the time and date? I'll move it down here a little bit. And let's just look at that where, um, 
that new moon is. So here's the ninth. You can see the moon is moved down to here. And then here we are on the 10th. You know, it happens um, early in the morning. So we're going to take the time back just a little. Oh, you know what? We'll start to spin around and it'll. I'll take the time back just a little bit closer. We can see the um, bear with me while we're moving here. And I'll go one more hour because it happens at 2 slash 3 a.m. Because in my time zone, it happens right at the moment that we spring the clocks forward. So it's like, 2 slash 3 a.m. because it happens quick. So here is the time of the new moon exactly in Pisces, right? So the sun and the moon are just about to move into the fishes constellation, which it's always good when we look at the astronomy software to remember that signs and constellations are not the same thing. Signs are based on the seasonal cycles. So when the sun moves into Aries, we have the equinox. That's a sign and a seasonal thing. But this will happen in the fishes constellation. Okay, I don't want to get too far down that wormhole today. But here we have the sun and the moon aligning in Pisces. Saturn's not too far away. And we can't see here, but Neptune is not too far away either. So this new moon is nestled between Saturn and Neptune or conjunct Saturn and Neptune, a little bit wide, not crazy, but not like exactly super tight the way the sun and the moon are. But for me, it's like, the opportunity of this new moon, Pisces. Pisces is always about like healing, feeling our feelings, healing our wounds, that empathy, having compassion for ourselves. That's the energy around this new moon. But nestled between Neptune and Saturn really brings us an opportunity of kind of like, how do we tune into that universal heart that Neptune helps us to find, right? Both Pisces and Neptune really help connect us into love, that universal love, connect us into spirit. And then Saturn brings that into the real world. So I feel like the intentions that we set and the energy that we connect into with this Pisces new moon can really be grounded into our feeling hearts and into our everyday world in which we live. So there's a lot going on with this. Uh, Pisces new moon. And it's a good time to really dream into envision what it is you really want to be creating in your life that is filled with that healed place, right? That compassion. We do the healing work so we can connect into our hearts, into our souls and into spirit more readily. Then on Monday, we'll go to Monday here. Then Venus moves into Pisces later in the afternoon. But you can just see here, this is in the water bearer constellation, right? Saturn is in Pisces here in that water bear constellation. So I just wanted to show that. So Venus now moves into Pisces. The divine feminine moves into that healer, empath, watery, serving the feeling realm, serving spirit sign of Pisces. So the feminine, we have this opportunity to one, really be kind to ourselves and feel a lot of compassion for ourselves. It's also a time, an offering while Venus is in Pisces to really focus on healing the feminine more, right? It's something that we're all trying to do and help bring the feminine back more online. But Venus moving through Pisces really offers that opportunity, that healing that then really connects us into spirit, into our soul paths, into ourselves. On Tuesday, I'll just go one more day here because we've got it. On Tuesday, up, oh, the moon has moved on. The moon is way over here, but the moon is in a sextile to Venus. So it's kind of cool. You can see that here in the astronomy software. It's not too far, right? That's the 60 degree um, aspect. 
And so that's a known as like a flowing, feel good, supportive type of aspect, right? Like gifting, helping. So the moon connected into Venus in this geometric aspect, I think really lends itself to this Venus moving into Pisces, right? It's right after that, a real flowing of the the moon there supporting the divine feminine and that healing that needs to occur, which really is a lot of feeling, right? We live in a time when we're not very comfortable with feeling our feelings, but it's probably one of the single most important things that we can do to really make change within ourselves and in the world, right? Meditating and feeling our feelings. It's like, quieting the mind so we can tune into ourselves, into spirit, into soul with meditation, and then feeling the feelings, right? Emotional processing, that work, shadow work that comes up so we can heal and really like come into our highest vibration and our highest expressions of ourselves. So there's a lot going on with the divine feminine with Venus this week, and I wish you well, and I send you lots of heartfelt Pisces love for this new moon and Venus moving into Pisces.